hello everyone in this video we are going to discuss the topic light emitting diode in short form we call it as led so this is the one of uh, optical source we use in our fiber optic communication system so in this video we are going to study uh, what is light emitting diode and how light emitting diode is working so the working principle behind uh, the light emission from the pn junction diode and its iv characteristics then followed with finally the materials which are used to manufacture the light emitting diode basically two types of optical sources are used in fiber optic communication systems one is led and another one is uh, the injection laser diode generally we call it as laser and uh, the choice of uh, led and laser the optical sources for fiber optic communication system will be based on uh, the number of data to be transmitted it depends on uh, the bit rate uh, when the data rate of uh, 100 to 200 megabits per second uh, the data rate in this range is to be transmitted that can be carried by the light wave generated from light emitting diode and beyond the range uh, for greater uh, higher value of data rate we use laser and about the laser we will see in upcoming videos in this video we are going to see about light emitting diode a light emitting diode is a pn junction opto semiconductor device and uh, it basically uh, generates a light it emits the light over the junction when the pn junction diode is connected in forward biased condition so uh, basically it converts the electrical energy into light energy so look at this picture uh, shown here this is how the light emitting diode looks and the lead shorter lead is connected to the cathode terminal and another lead uh, the lengthy one is connected to the anode and we can see here uh, the junction like this anode and this cathode these junction points are uh, basically connected with uh, gold connecting wires when this anode is connected to positive supply and uh, uh, the cathode is connected to negative uh, terminal of the voltage supply there will be a movement of charge carriers and uh, the recombination of electron hole pair will results emission of the photon so over this junction there will be emission of photon and the symbol of light emitting diode is similar to uh, the pn junction diode symbol the only difference is the arrow mark see this arrow mark is the representation of light emission over the junction so let us see how this light emitting diode is working as i already told the working principle behind the light emitting diode is similar to the pn junction diode the major difference between the conventional pn junction diode to uh, the semiconducting material used to manufacture led p type and n type materials uh, are uh, different from the conventional one so generally we use uh, the silicon or germanium uh, group 4 materials semiconducting materials to manufacture pn junction diode and these are uh, indirect band gap materials uh, and it does not have the nature of light emission in order to have the light emission over the junction light emitting diodes are manufactured materials like gallium arsenic phosphate and nitrate and all so when a p type uh, semiconducting material is connected to uh, the joint with n type semiconducting material uh, like uh, the majority charge carriers in p type semiconducting materials are holes and uh, the majority charge carriers in a n type semiconductors are electrons so when these are going to be joined together the charge carriers electrons here in uh, n type materials are trying to combine with the holes and uh, the holes here in p type semiconducting material are trying to combine with the electrons so near the junction uh, there will be the accumulation of uh, negative charge carriers uh, near the junction of p type material and the holes uh, near the junction of n type semiconducting material and this is called a space charge region and uh, we uh, we generally call it as a depletion region so here we have a anode terminal here we have a cathode terminal 
and by properly biasing this uh, p n junction diode uh, there will be a movement of charge carriers from n type to p type and p type to n type uh, there will be a injection of charge carriers and the recombination of electron hole pair near the junction will result to emission of photon so that is actually the emission of light so look at this diagram here the p n junction diode is connected in forward biased condition forward biased condition means the battery positive is connected to uh, the p type material and uh, the ne negative of the battery is connected to n type material and uh, due to the positive connection holes from the majority charge carriers holes from p type materials are tr getting repelled and trying to migrate over uh, trying to cross uh, the depletion region and uh, migrate over the n type material by the same way and uh, by the same way the negative charge carriers from n type semiconducting materials are trying to migrate over p type semiconducting material by the way the depletion region width is going to be reduced when the supply connected across the pn junction uh, reaching the cut off voltage that is the maximum voltage required to break the depletion region and uh, resulting the moment of charge carriers between p type and n type semiconducting materials right and uh, explaining the recombination in a simple uh, way like uh, we have a conduction band and uh, there will be a valence band and uh, valence band is filled with uh, the valence electrons number of electrons when there is an external energy that energy is absorbed by the electrons and these valence electrons are getting excited to the conduction band which resulting uh, the leaving the space here and creates electron and hole pair and there will be a spontaneous emission uh, the emission behind uh, the light emitting diode is spontaneous emission in case of laser it is stimulated emission so when an electron returns back to the state to combine recombine with the holes it emits the energy which it absorbed already so that emission of energy is actually uh, light here the photon energy in pn junction uh, light emitting diode and to understand this mechanism from uh, the energy band diagram look at this this portion is the energy band of the p type material and this portion is the energy band diagram of uh, the n type material and this inclined portion is uh, the representation of energy band across the junction when the pn junction is forward biased basically the charge carries the electrons and the holes look at this energy band diagram the electrons in the conduction band and the holes in the valence band are moving uh, towards the junction with different voltage that is flowing into the junction from electrodes with different voltages so when uh, an electron meets across the junction when an electron meets a hole it falls into the lower energy level and uh, there the recombination process occurs and during the recombination it releases the energy absorbed that is what uh, shown here as a light light emission during the recombination process and the wavelength of the light emitted during the recombination process decides uh, the region uh, the range is up to the ir region infrared region or visible uh, region or uh, it depends on the wavelength of the light emitted so the waveform uh, displayed here is the iv characteristics of uh, the light emitting diode it is similar to the pn junction diode uh, iv characteristics in x axis we have uh, the parameter uh, for a voltage and uh, in y axis uh, the measurement taken for a current and when it is forward biased pn junction is forward biased uh, once uh, the voltage reaches the cut off voltage right then we call it as a knee voltage and when the cut off voltage is reached then there is increment in current uh, with respect to the voltage and basically uh, the light emitting diode is processed under forward biased condition we don't use uh, the light emitting diode in reverse biased condition and if it is connected in reverse biased condition uh, with a huge voltage after certain time after certain limit uh, there will be a breakdown so once the breakdown occurs uh, there will uh, the device get damaged so 
LED is not operated in reverse biased condition and it is operated in forward biased condition. And the photon energy uh, emitted from the electron during the recombination process is equivalent to H nu. So we know that uh, the energy gap uh, that is let's say if we take uh, the conduction band the energy gap is basically defined as uh, we have a conduction band and we have a valence band uh, the space between uh, that is uh, the maximum energy level of uh, the valence band and minimum energy level of the conduction band in between the space that is ec minus ev uh, is the energy gap right and light emitting diode uh, the emission of light uh, here it is actually equivalent to h nu here the light emitting diode is working uh, uh, based on the principle of injection luminescence so injection luminescence means when there will be the injection of charge carriers resulting to the recombination of electron hole pair uh, which uh, causes the emission of the light and the frequency uh, mu is actually uh, equivalent to c divided by lambda related to wavelength it is uh, c divided by lambda c is the speed of light so the energy is equivalent to h into c divided by lambda so we can write the wavelength of the light emitted from light emitting diode lambda is equal to h c divided by eg that is uh, the wavelength is indirectly proportional to the energy gap so if the energy gap is minimum then we get uh, uh, maximum wavelength and if the energy gap is maximum we get minimum wavelength and let's see uh, the type of uh, material semiconducting materials we use to manufacture led because uh, the conventional uh, pn junction diode are made up of uh, silicon and germanium are uh, actually indirect band gap materials and uh, the material which has direct band gap so direct and indirect uh, band gap uh, the level of the conduction band let's say this is uh, the conduction band and this is uh, the valence band in order to have a proper energy emission the energy is to be conserved so in case of uh, indirect band gap materials let's say this is the conduction band and this is uh, the valence band um, the conduction band minimum and uh, the valence band maximum energy levels occur at uh, different uh, values of momentum so in order to have a recombination process so the level is different here and uh, the momentum of charge carriers will be different uh, during the recombination process so uh, band to band uh, uh, the recombination must involve a third particle to conserve momentum because the photon momentum is very small so in direct uh, band gap semiconductor the electrons and holes can recombine directly across the band gap without needing a third particle to conserve momentum so uh, yeah silicon and germanium diodes uh, in conventional pn junction diode or uh, the recombination occurs uh, of uh, electron and hole pair uh, by non radiative transition and uh, this non radiative transition produces no optical emission because of indirect band gap materials so in light emitting diode uh, we have a direct band gap materials uh, the energy emitted from uh, the photon energy emitted uh, by the light emitting diode the range is up to the near infrared and visible and the near ultraviolet range and uh, these are the materials gallium arsenide gallium phosphide gallium arsenide phosphide aluminum gallium phosphide gallium nitride gallium indium nitride silicon carbide and zinc selenide these are the semiconducting materials which are used to manufacture a light emitting diode and these materials are having band to band transition and uh, the emission of uh, light uh, the color uh, red yellow uh, white and uh, blue based on the different combination of these materials for example uh, the gallium arsenide the led made up of the gallium arsenide emits the light the wavelength range which is closer to ir range and uh, the gallium phosphide uh, resulting to red and uh, green light and gallium arsenide phosphide materials resulting to the color of uh, light as uh, red or the yellow light 
so let us quickly recollect uh, about light emitting diode so the light emitting diode is basically converting the electrical energy into light energy and its working is similar to pn junction diode so the major difference between the pn junction diode to light emitting diode is the type of material we use to manufacture uh, the pn junction and it is operated in forward biased condition uh, when it is forward biased the moment of charge carries towards the junction uh, leads to recombination process and during the recombination there will be emission of light and the wavelength of the light emitted is uh, indirectly proportional to the energy gap and also different types of uh, direct band gap materials are used to, to uh, manufacture light emitting diode uh, resulting to different colors of uh, the light thank you